Okay guys, I got the capacitor hooked up here. Um, I'll show you how this works. In that document I told you about, um, there is a spot in here where it shows basically how to throw this all together to extract power. It says you can, well it doesn't say this, but it seems like it would think you could just extract the power since it's uh, magnetically rotating. But here's the schematic. Now I can only get it to charge a cap and then stay charged and then discharge through the meter. But here's the schematic. And uh, basically the TPU is the ring there which would be my horseshoe and my top plate. And then there is a uh, coil here and here. And the wires go different directions for your north and south polarities. And you have two diodes and a capacitor between those two. And I guess you're basically cutting out one uh, wave to charge your cap. Now it doesn't tell whether it's electrolytic or not, you know, polarity, I don't know. Um, I'm using electrolytic, 2.2 microfarads, um, 50 volts. That's what I'm using. Um, little bitty thing. Um, so that's what this looks like. Uh, it doesn't really tell you, you know, like it says it could run all the time. It, it doesn't really tell you that much information. But basically, um, it does tell you that the orientation of these diodes need to be different from your um, hemisphere, whether you're in northern or southern hemispheres. That's interesting. And I did find out it does only work one direction where I am at. I am in the uh, northern hemisphere. Um, so, I'll go ahead and show you that cap. Uh, here's what I got. Let's see if I can get this meter over here a little better. Basically, I've got my meter here hooked up across my capacitor. Uh, my two diodes and connect to my coil. Um, that's what I got. Let's see if I can get this meter back here so you can see it. Let's set you up there. All right. Yeah, you can see my meter. All right. Okay. I believe you guys can see that. Okay. So I'm going to set my plate up here. Now that's my voltage. I got my cap hooked up so when I charge this, obviously it's going to go up with the voltage. So I'm going to charge it here. There it goes. Okay, these are disconnected. I'm just going to set them right here. Um, okay, so I'm going to short this cap out. Brings me down to zero voltage. Okay, cap's still hooked up. It's going to kind of climb. Capacitors do that. Um, there you can see it going back down now through the meter probably. Okay, now I'm gonna, all I'm going to do is just pull this off. No power. Nothing hooked up here. And this will charge up to sometimes over 2 volts. So here we go. Okay, now I'm on the milliamp scale. Or no, I'm on 2 volt scale. So you saw it jump up there. I'll do it again. Charge it up. maybe there it goes okay I'll put this on 20 volt scale so basically uh, that's over 20 volt okay short this out okay zero volts okay um, short okay so you can see it climbing steadily it'll kind of get to a point stop there it goes okay so I'm going to pull this off and see what voltage is, ready? There you go, almost 4 volt. Look at it going down. The faster you pull this off, the more, I guess, magnetic field is back induced into your coils. If you pull it off really slow, it doesn't really do anything at all. I'll show you. Charge it up here. Okay, short out the cap. 0 volts. I'm going to let this get a little steady so that you can... Uh, see it. Okay, I'm gonna pull this off really slow. Nothing. I'm gonna hook it back up. Pull it off fast. Still nothing. Okay. Um. Yeah, those aren't touching. Okay. So I'll do it again, and I'll show you what it is real fast here. Okay, we're charged up. Short this cap out. It's not connected. Here we go. So, 
explain that to me. And what's cool about this is, uh, theoretically, and I believe it would work, because I left it sit all day today for about four hours. Not all day. I said I let this sit for about four hours with a, a um, just a voltmeter to check voltage well, where I was at. That's all I had. Uh, pulled this off four hour, hours later, and it's still it still did the same thing. Still same voltage. Let's uh, do it one more time. I'm gonna set my meter so it catches the spike. They were charged up. Shorten my cap out. Put this meter on peak high and see what we can get out of it. Here we go. So there you go. 3.49 volts. Now I'm sure if you would look at this on a oscilloscope, an oscilloscope and see the peak, it would probably be bigger. But that's what I hit. Uh, almost three and a half voltage. Uh, Again, this is a 2.2 microfarad, 50 volt cap. You can't see that, but uh, this is just amazing. Um, what impresses me the most is the fact that I don't have to have anything hooked up to this coil, except for the coil itself. Take away all this meter. Okay. So you can see everything in this picture. Get all the stuff out of here. Um, I did build a small scale. This is actually a welding rod because it doesn't get magnetized easy. I, it doesn't work as well. Um, I'll measure this out for you so you can see exactly what it is. But a small scale, even smaller than this, doesn't work very well unless you had the right coils maybe. That might be part of it. Um, okay, so I'm going to energize this. Okay, energized. I'm going to unhook this, and, and you can see that this stays on there. Now, there is nothing hooked up to that. There's no batteries in here. I promise I'm not that kind of person. I don't play tricks. I think it's nonsense for those people who do. I wouldn't even leave a comment if you're just going to joke around, because I could care less. I'm just about the real deal, and this is the real deal. Explain that to me. Okay, I'm going to pull this off. Okay. I'm going to hook it back up and see if I can get it to stay on there. Okay, it wants to stay on there, but, I mean, there's no force there. And, actually, I hooked up these coils with the same direction. It de-energized everything where there was nothing at all. I don't think I can reverse polarities and do it. I think I actually have to hook the coils up different. I'll try it, though. Okay, I'll reverse polarities. Yeah. I guess it did help. So here you go. I'll show you that it does not work. I mean, there's nothing there. I'll go ahead and uh, do it one more time for you. Okay, so as you can tell, there's nothing there. Energize it. Oh, that's all it takes. One little split second. Okay. Explain that to me. You can't tell me that there's not what I would consider, and this guy considers perpetual motion, magnetic perpetual motion inside here holding this uh, closed. Yeah, try it. I promise you'll uh, you'll be amazed. Spread this video out because I've never seen this demonstration. There is another one on YouTube of a full scale, which is in the document. Uh, it's in there, it's on there, uh, it doesn't really show a whole lot, but uh, I just want to show you and prove to you that even on small scale this actually does work. Um, I can't explain it. The only thing I can explain is what I've read in the document. I've only spent one day on this. So, uh, road and coil research will continue, but I had to try this. Alright, I'm out. Uh, spread the video, please. See ya. Oh, in case you were wondering, today is 8, uh, 17, 2010. Okay? So, today is the day that I rediscovered something that was lost. There's a few things out there, but, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I've never seen this, and it should be in every science class for kids. That's what I'm telling you. See ya.